What is the soul? How would you sell your soul? Why would no, people that's do actually it? one of them things like it really blows me just just how few people can actually define a soul versus how many people will talk about who sold they soul and for what. A lot of people don't even know what that means to do. So what does that entail? How would you do that? What does that mean to sell your soul? Like all that. Well, I'm here to answer that. Your body is not your soul. But your body is just physical matter, right? And I, okay, we're going to use my, my headphone case, right? This is physical matter. It is dead. It becomes animated when I unlock its potential energy. So basically that potential energy is everything that it could be or it could do in the future. The kinetic energy is the energy it's already burning right now. All the things you could do or be, that energy inside of you that keeps you alive, that keeps you able to get up when you're in a down state, would be your part of your soul. So if you wanted to sell your soul, you would sell your future. And there's a lot of people that's kind of already in that boat already, but it's not the whole scope of things. So like anything that you would do to make payments on or, you know, be indebted to, especially if it's overpriced, would be selling your soul. A little piece of your soul, just a little bit. And then you'll sell a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more. Eventually, you can come to a time where you don't you can't make any decisions for yourself. Everything you're doing is going to paying this back. That's when you have really like sold your soul type of thing. But, you know, you, you sell your soul in chunks. Nobody just comes up to you and like, hey, man, here's a contract. Can I buy your soul? And I mean, it's get, it's got that reputation because the contracts obviously is how you end up making these payments. But is nobody's going to outright and just offer to buy your soul. It's always just going to be little parts of your time and energy in the future, your future for something now. All right. I didn't switch my hat, you know what I'm saying? I finished my rice. That rice was really good. I had to. I just had to. But everyone sells part of their soul all the time. All the time. Everyone sells a little part of their soul. Uh, it's really to join any type of group that you're selling a part of yourself. So whether that be anything, we're going from things like cults, gangs, to governments and, and organizations, anything like that. Are you thoroughly knowing who you are and what you're going to want later down the road? So it's a two part thing on how this happens, but there are some things or some systems that can coerce you and that's just not right. You just need to just just get get up out of those. But this is why it's always important to do your own research and know your own knowledge in have some backbone, be able to stand up and say no, because if you can't say no, like you can get pushed into the most egregious deals. You really don't want that. But you got to know, like, will I still want this in X amount of time? Like self-control is so important. You see people, you could sell yourself for drugs. Somebody's basically throwing away this opportunity, this opportunity, this opportunity for the drugs. It's not really getting as much back unless you can do something with it. The, the key is whatever you're getting, you do something with it to grow and expand. Because it doesn't just limit you so you can't just grow and expand. Sometimes you can join something. You could join a group where working for this group gives you more opportunities than if you were before. So that's always important to keep in mind. Like it has been skewed in such a way like and I guess it's a misunderstanding. People didn't have a lot of different scientific theories or anything else like that back then we now have science and we have the, the stories and we can cross them and be like oh that's what that is and oh that's what that is but i guess the previous generations couldn't do that but i guess they were just scared of 
the unknown, and that's probably the worst thing you should do. Don't ever be afraid of the unknown, but you can even make deals with the universe itself, the most high itself, Allah himself, God himself, whatever deity you're choosing to use or call him or call it, you can negotiate deals and transactions with that because they are legal exchanges. They are fair exchanges. And when people say that they sold their soul to the devil, they usually made a pact with the universe and nature in general and went against it, like just completely went against their word. And that's when it kind of retaliates. The universe, nature, God is mad because you didn't do what you promised and made a pact on and he paid you early people high on their spiritual development though because obviously you're not going to get a front from god if you're not at a certain level you know what i'm saying this would be like for the prophets you know kings government officials things like that people that were ordained power by the universe understand what you're getting into and just don't be coerced don't be naive you know like some people i i know they're so far behind in debt and stuff like that you ever met somebody where you want to go hang out with them friday but they can't because they have to do this for so and so they have to do this for so and so and they have to do this for their job and they have to do this for you know they've done so much they've they've gave away so much of their future that now they have no time for themselves no matter what happens all of their decisions are not their decision is based on everyone else and that's where it becomes a problem because we all have to eventually we all have to eventually die we all have to eventually merge with this most high consciousness we always have to we all have to merge back with the universe so i mean you're gonna lose part of your future anyway we all sell a little piece of our soul all the time just make sure you do it for the things that you love and not the things other people love. You sign up for it. But it's just literally any transaction now for your labor in the future or your energy in the future. I mean, it can get deep. You know, it's it can get deep. It's not even the devil out to get you. It's yourself. Running a gang is selling part of your soul. But even things like getting a job or working for anybody especially if you're scheduled is selling your soul that's one thing if i do something now for payment now you know it's even and done but when you have to when you're when you're locked in and even on bad days you still have to show up and do this and do this you sold part of your soul you sold your soul for this part this if you could look at the soul as a 4d thing right so there's 3d space and on this fourth dimension it's time at this place at this time you have to be somewhere because it's in contract and you agreed to it and you've been getting rewarded for for it or you got rewarded from it and you have certain level of consequences for not honoring that part of your contract but it's important to not get coerced into these things like See, this is why they have them seven deadly sins. Like, say, um, slothfulness, laziness. Making an agreement you would normally not want to do, especially if you could see the bigger picture or in the frame of your future, that you wouldn't do. But you do it out of that laziness to lust when you go out of your way and do things that you wouldn't normally do to try to get some, you're selling a part of your soul. You got to merge back in with everything. Make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. Because a lot of people, they'll throw that word around like they sold their soul to the devil. And they might have been very, very talented people. Like they might have been blessed by the universe in these aspects. So a prophet, a higher up, and a person on a lower level or mid-level, I mean, I'm not going to call it a lower level, just a regular level on the spiritual development, you, get, you can get better deals the higher up you go but there are also higher consequences as well because we see we see this with this problem with the government where the higher up you go on their status 
on their government official status, the more rewarded you can get. But you don't necessarily get as punished the higher up you go for making mistakes. So when you make them deals with, with the universe, you get punished for your mistakes. Not You don't necessarily get punished for your mistakes, but if you don't do what God tells you to do or the universe or Allah or whatever force of nature, if you don't do what you agreed to do, the energy that comes back is insane because it compounds really fast. It compounds. But that's just the difference between, you know, making a deal with the universe and making a deal with the government. See, that's how they can run away with getting that much power. It can still be gotten out of. You can you can get out of certain things if you know what you're doing when you sign up and you know how things work, if you know how the system works. And the more you know, the more accurately you know how it works, the more leverage you will have in negotiating with that system. If you don't know a lot about something and you make a deal with it, that's negligent. I mean, you can like that can go bad. Like you see how people they make deals with people out of fear or out of this or out of this. That's how you get roped into them really bad deals. And I'm not just saying just with one group or another. I'm just saying with anything taking advantage of you when the opportunity presents itself. That's real. That's everywhere. That's why it's important to know what you're getting into and just knowing yourself and because, you know, when you join things like that, there's a there's not necessarily a contract. There is an initiation. So it's still a ritual. It's just a physical ritual that you do. You part of your future is putting in work literally for this group. How effectively part of that group. You're a cell of that group. Think of myself like all my cells coming together, all seven trillion of us, however many it is coming together to work as a group to make me. When you sell your soul to something like that, you're selling your soul to a group like that, where you become the seller of that group. You don't, you're not living for you, you're living for that. That's when you officially like get to a point where you've sold your soul. So like even people, okay, let's say I owe this person something, this person something, and this person something. So all of my futures done up. You know how some people, they just can never do anything for themselves because they got already got deals made with everybody else. But yeah, well now they have a whole environment created that's alive and conscious and it's living off of her soul or his soul and it's just it's just that transfer of life you're transferring that life into something else a little bit of your life force the more you give up for it the stronger the group so i'm just saying like on both sides of how these things are these are these are higher dimensional system that you that you negotiate with both fictional and non-fiction